Hey there everyone, Tesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the final official end of the TypeScript series. It is very important that you start a series but is it, it is equally important that you end up a series as well. Start of the journey is important, so is the end. Otherwise it's all just a tutorial hell. Now you have enough knowledge with yourself with this TypeScript series that you can go ahead and implement TypeScript in any production grade application or can start playing around with that in React, Angular or anything like that. If you have reached so far, I'm pretty sure you have learned this, that TypeScript is not associated with Angular or React or anything else. It just is a strong sense of writing production grade JavaScript, which is probably less error prone and give you more strong types so that the chances of creating the errors are minimized. That's all the TypeScript is. Now, apart from this, let me walk you through. I have also added the GitHub repository here on this so that anybody who is watching can actually go ahead and just learn this one. And this is the official page, TypeScript YouTube uh, 22. So this is entirely it. Uh, probably I mistyped it. Let me just go ahead and correct that. So this is, no, it's all correct. Uh, it was just showing me half of that. So this is all the link that you should have. Otherwise, just go on to my GitHub repository and you can just find it pretty easily. Uh, it's super easy just go on to the repos and you can search for it and you'll find it at the top all the source code are mentioned up here now with this let me also mention this that there are probably a couple of topics that i might not have covered might have slipped out here and there in the crack but the most important part is if you have watched the concept of this entire series it was not just to teach about the typescript but also to introduce you how to learn from the documentation I have explicitly chosen those examples which are from the documentation so that you get an idea and sense of how to read from documentation. So that if some topic is missing, you can directly go ahead and read from there. Otherwise, just let me know on my Instagram and I'm super active there and I'll try my best to add those topics into this series if they are sounding a little tough for you. But how long you're gonna be keep on asking for the videos? Go ahead and try it out on the documentation first. And if it doesn't work out, let me know. I'm always here to help you out with that. Now go ahead and build some amazing stuff. That is the most important part of brushing up your TypeScript. I'll try my best in the future so that I can come up with some projects that include TypeScript and together we can brush up some of our knowledge as well as I can teach you some of the production grade stuff of how to use TypeScript. This was all. It was an amazing ride. I learned uh, so much about the TypeScript as well as a bit more about the foundation of teaching as well as creating better thumbnails. That's the one thing I learned from the entirety of the series. Now one small request from my side that please go ahead if possible share the series the tutorial series where we teach something don't get that much of attention. We don't get that much of the views. And again, it's it takes uh, a little bit stress on the channel as well that we are pushing the series which are not taking much views. So your small share are from your colleague, from your college friends, in your WhatsApp group, in your Discord channel, in your Telegram channel would be super helpful if that is possible from your side. Otherwise, uh, fantastic series. I learned a lot about it. I hope you have enjoyed a lot in that. Uh, keep on supporting me. I'll try to push more series like this. And yes, this was really fun. Thank you so much. And we're going to surely catch up in another such series.